Sorry. Let's watch Bald. Good morning, guys, from Przemysl here in southern Poland. Just up the road stands the border with Ukraine. Ukraine a nation which, well, if Joe Biden and the, the British press are to be believed, stands on the cusp of a devastating invasion by none other than Vladimir Putin. I'm now going to head into Ukraine and cross that vast land. Visit I guess Bald was watching me that week. Hello, chat has high, has high, has high. Just like... I guess Bald was watching me that week. That's why he went into Ukraine, you know? He was probably like, Hasanabe said that no invasion would occur. Visiting some of its border areas and hopefully meeting some of the locals and asking them what it's like to live under the shadow of a war. Join me. Well, every journey has to begin somewhere and ours is beginning at the old abandoned communist bus stop. The abandoned communist bus stop of Premish. From here. Okay, Medica. Granica. Okay. Dobrze. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. That was me conversing in fluent Polish. You may have noticed some of you Poles. Don't be surprised. My granddad was a Pole, a proud Polish man. And so I'm back on home soil, so to speak. Back in the motherland. Anyway, we're waiting for a bus, a number nine, that's going to take us to the village of Medica, and from there we're going to walk across the border into Ukraine. And there they are. The lovely Polish people. Could be related to these two people, you never know. Okay, I'm going, bye-bye. David Genia. Wow. Dobry den, pan. Enough? Oh. We're travelling across a region of Europe called Galicia. So many battles. First World War, Second World War, Napoleon. All pass through this region of Europe. Wait one second, guys. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have an unexpected visitor that uh, that came out of nowhere. Uh, Chelsea Manning is here. I'm not. Yeah, friend of the show and uh, Hassan Abi head. Yeah. Um, first door on the left. First door on the left. Um, I need to clean up over here uh, real quick. No, I'm not going to play Mario Kart, guys. Um... Well, we're on the border. And what I like about this border between Ukraine and Poland is they've got a boxing machine so that you can settle your wars through who's the hardest puncher, the Poles or the Ukrainians, or maybe the Russians. I don't know. Russians are quite strong, too. Anyway, let's cross the border down here somewhere, if we can. If it's open on a Sunday, I reckon it is. Davidzenia Polska, ojczyzna moja. Tu jesteś jak sterowie. Let's enter Ukraine. Dobry den. Jak tam, spokojnie jeszcze, Ukraina? Da? Putin nie tu jeszcze? Nie, Slava Bogu. Nie tu wojny. Женщины, как там? Спокойно еще? Спокойно. Спокойно. Путин нету? Не Нет? Слава Богу. О, хорошо. Рад это слышать. Можно? Да, да, идти, конечно, я могу. Можно. Давай. А, я от меня. 50 километров судовый. А, да? А вы не боитесь еще Украины? Чего? Ну, война. Да какая война? Нет? Не будет? Не будет никакой войны. О, рад это слышать. Надеюсь, что нет.
Well, I was just majorly cross-examined. My bag's thoroughly A few moments later. GG's. GG's on that. Okay, we're gonna go back to the bald. The the bald and the bankrupt. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're gonna hear what he has to say about being at the Ukrainian-Russian border. Bald and morally bankrupt? True. But also, uh, kind of brave for doing this a little bit, but crazy. Okay searched by the border guards why have i got a russian visa in my passport when was i last in russia what are my plans well it seems the people that we met going back to poland aren't scared of a war but government officials certainly are let's go further into ukraine hassan you keep promoting ukrainian propaganda is true and then backtracking a few days later, a lot of Western propaganda. Dog, there's literally not a single Western news source that is as skeptical as the information that's coming out than, than this one, okay? Like, you just want me to deep throat uh, Putin's boot if you, if you consider what I'm doing to be like regurgitating Western propaganda. Okay. So what's machine? Машина. Сколько стоит? Куда вы любите? Любой центральный рынок. На рынок? Да, на рынок, старый рынок. Центр? Центр именно. О! Еще раз в Украине. Еще раз. А когда был? Он... А я был здесь летом. Да, летом я был здесь. Летом. Да. Ну как? А там где живет польский или? Не, я англичанин. А, англичанин. Да, да, да. А, чуть-чуть. Ну да. А вы тоже? Я. А украинский, наверное, мовья знает. Украинский знает, да? Да. Понятно. Ну, это русские. Русские раньше везде, ну, большинство учили, не как бы. Да. Ну, английский это. На первом. Ну как здесь сейчас ситуация? Вы думаете, что оккупация будет или нет? Не знаю, тяжело что-то сказать. Да. Тяжело что-то сказать. Кто-то говорил, что подписал, как бы, что будет воевать. Правда это, неправда, всякие слухи ходят. His name is uh, uh, Hassan Abi. He's always saying no invasion, no invasion. That's why we're all confused. Of course. Nowhere else are we getting this information from. Just Hassan Abi. Yes, if I know, what will you do? Hmm. Or not decided yet? Wait, isn't he in, in, in Donbass? Where is he there? Oh, he's in... Oh, wait. Oh, this is... Uh, this is uh, Lviv. Okay. Because he says uh, Ukrainian-Russian border. So I was... I thought... Oh, he just came from Poland. Okay. Because the f title says uh, Ukrainian-Russian border. How are you eating so slow today? Dude, I had a guest. I had a... Uh, uh, I did not know Chelsea was coming over. Uh, like, she did showed up crazy so i uh, uh i stopped eating because i didn't want to be rude еще раз дякую удачи до побачення до побачення we've made it to old lviv
Можно я спрашиваю что-то? Я думаю, что вы патриотка, да. может так, да? да? А что вы думаете про ситуацию с Россией? Будет война, будет оккупация или что ваше мнение? Ну, я не хочу верить, чтобы была та война. Мы на протяжении этих всех руков, мы ездим до хлопцев на схід. Это уже 8 лет с Майдана, и мы ездим очень часто, что mm -hmm. месяц. И я тоже перейшла Майдан, я не думала, что будет война. И в это не хочу верить, просто уже не хочу. А если будет, что вы будете делать? Вы будете переехать где-то? Нет, мы будем патриот, мы будем защищать. Мы сейчас еще сильнее стали, наши сбройные силы стали сильнее. Мы тогда, о, мы тогда вообще без ничего были, без никаких там... Нет, сейчас я уверена, что мы на покое мощнее. Нет, я не встану, ну, как я без Украины? Это как маму менять. А вы не боитесь? Ну, чего боюсь? Well, the people on the streets of Lviv seem quite relaxed about the situation. However, listening to USA morning news, you would think that the invasion is 100% certainly going to happen. That's the it's because everyone in Ukraine was watching me, okay? Guys, you don't understand. It's because everyone in the entire, like, 44 million people in Ukraine all tuned in to the Hassan Abu broadcast leading up to it. And not because, like, every authority outside of American media kept saying, um, you know, every uh, Ameri every authority, uh, every intelligence, uh, uh, you know, every part of like the intelligence apparatus uh, outside of U.S. intelligence and U.S. media said not going to happen. The story that they're running with anyway. The city of Lviv looks nothing like any of the other towns that we've passed through on our travels across the former Soviet Union used to be called Lvov or Lemberg because this town was actually built primarily by Poles, Austro-Hungarians, even Czechs. And the people of this part of Ukraine have always looked towards the West. They've been drawn towards the ideas and the ideals of the West. However, in the east of the country, it's a different situation. The Dnieper River that dissects this great land in two is also a division of mentalities, the people in the eastern part of Ukraine look more towards Russia. And that is the fundamental problem that Ukrainian statehood has, how to reconcile the two parts of this nation. someone good snacks some info that lives in ukraine when it comes down to it you could have saved lives if people left with your info wait what i don't even know what that means okay let's continue she's not it rachiv kharkiv super Дякую за помощь. Дякую. Ну вы бачите. Well, that was Lviv, where everything's pretty calm and peaceful. However, we're now going to travel across this vast country. You can see this map here. We're going to travel from the city. Stop saying gigahas schizophrenic chatters, okay? I do not want this to be like a cool thing. I don't want you promoting this kind of behavior in the chat. Gigahas schizo pose. No. See, all the way across to Kharkiv, which is pressed up against the Russian border in the east of the country. We're going to see how life is progressing over there. Really interesting that Ball did this, by the way. I got to pee, I'll be back. Вакцинация. Да, есть. 
как там сейчас? Спокойно? Накаленно. Well, it seems like things are heating up in the Donbass, judging by the news that I'm reading now as we're moving across the Ukraine. It's going to be interesting to see what what's going on over there when we get there tomorrow. I'm going to hit the sack now, and um, hopefully my mate here doesn't snore. Don't want another BAM railway experience. We shall see. See you guys in the morning. Don't tell me this mother literally ended up going into Donbass when when the invasion began. Are you kidding me? Bro, this is literally some Mr. Bean shit. Like this is actually this is actually unironically the the oh my god. He was like, Yeah, I have to go. Like I have to go. I have to go right now. He went to he he didn't even he didn't go. Oh yeah, he went to oh Kharkiv. Okay. No, oh, not good. At all, actually. Bro, he's just he's such a Russaboo, I swear to God. No one is a bigger Russabu than than Baldi. He just loves he loves He really is, dude. He's like, oh wow, it's my favorite thing. It's like two two well, Slavs fighting two Slav nations fighting each other. I'm such a fan. Foreboding day. However, we're not stopping. I'm gonna dump my bag Fog, somewhere. This is just like the Marvel Cinematic Universe Avengers edition. He is. He's a Slava boo. I mean, he is, he also is a Slav too. But it was just like <sighs> Pog, and and he's a Soviet uh, weeb too. So he's like, this is just like the Soviet Union. Pog. Then I'm gonna jump on a bus and head north to a village somewhere on the Russian border. I was looking on Google Maps and there's a small village that straddles the border with Russia called Barisovka. It's about an hour north of Kharkiv on the road which, if there is an invasion, Russian tanks will come down on the way to this city. So let's go and check out this little tiny village and um, yeah, see if we can meet some locals, chat to them. It's not easy finding a bus to the village, Barisovka. Ah, Dalshi, that's what I'm going to say. Pony, pony, pony. Aha, not sure. We found it. Well, we found the bus stop. And these are maybe the Barisivkans. Barisivka, 1177. Baldi is huge pro capitalist, also a bit of a may or may not be a sex tourist PUA guy back in the day. Don't know if he still is. Uh, could be. I don't know. But, you know, he does make damn good content. I don't like his friend, uh, Harold Balder at all, though. I, I really don't like him. But I think Baldi is, um... It's wild that this mother is literally, like, making the exact same type of video that he makes, but, like, in the middle of a conflict, like, in the middle of an invasion people around me and they're all saying the same thing and that is that this is the 21st century why i don't get you don't like them no i mean uh, i have an interesting relation i have a complex relationship with baldy because like i do in a weird way i do see the good in him despite his uh you know despite all of the the sex pat uh behavior that he, he like clearly showcases and that like apparently he used to be back in the day uh whereas yes harold balder is like Mega fash, you know, he's just like, Knut said he's in Kiev now. Thank you, Knut. Virtue signaling alert. That's not virtue signaling alert. Wait, Harold Balder literally went to Istanbul and was like doing, uh, 
like holy war, holy crusade memes and shit. Like he like thinks he's a, he thinks he's like a, like a knight of the Templar, dude. What are you talking about? Not bald. His friend, his friend. Nah, Her Harold 100% is a reactionary. You will never convince me otherwise. I mean, it doesn't matter. Look, I don't really give a shit. Because like those guys, here's the thing, okay? I can separate the art from the artist. People get mad at me for saying this, but like, as long as the, as long as he's not like trying to spread his like weirdo point of view in his videos, like who cares? Whatever. Um, I, it's just like, it's fine. His content is not for me, but bald on the other hand, um, he, he just, he makes really good content. Like I, 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 I have to admit not bald and bankrupt. I'm talking about Harold Balder or whatever. Anyway, let's continue. How can we still be suffering like this? <laughs> How can we still be suffering like this in the 21st century? Yeah, it's incredible. Isn't that on par with tongue in cheek 1453 memes? No, because 1453 doesn't have like a viable. If I was doing like, if I was, re if, <laughs> if I had opinions that were hyper nationalist or ultra nationalist, then I was also doing the. JJJ memes, then that's a little bit different, right? But he's also far right and he's doing Knights of the Templar memes in Istanbul. That's the difference, okay? I am not a nationalist. I'm not an ultra nationalist. So whenever I make fun of like, or whenever I make jokes about ultra nationalist Turks, uh, the MHB party, uh, I'm making fun of them for the most part. The only thing uh, that I'm not making fun of and I'm very serious about is the top of the hour ad break which comes at the top of every hour. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna rewind this a little bit because I missed a lot of the stuff that he was saying. And if you no longer wanna see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5, you can do that for free you, uh, with a Twitch Prime. And um, you know, if you're lucky, you could get gifted a sub, but here's the one minute ad break now. I'm talking to everyone on the bus, the people around me, and they're all saying the same thing. And that is that this is the 21st century. How can we still be suffering Thank like this? Thank you, Big Daddy Jinx, for the five gifted. <laughs> no, How to, can we still be suffering like this in the 21st century? Yeah, it's incredible. Check it out. Just old rotting Soviet infrastructure. Muddy roads. Crikey, they must be really stoic people in this part of the world. Wow. It looks just like Poland. Wow. Distance to the Russian border is zero kilometers. Well, I've jumped off the bus here because people were telling me there's a like an army block post further up the road and I'd rather avoid anything to do with the army or police. But anyway, look over here on this field. This is the Ukrainian Russian border. Can you pick out the barbed wire all the way along? Can you see it? It's probably the most contentious border in the entire world at the moment. Uh -huh. wow. It's kind of underwhelming being here. You know, it's on the news all the time. You expect kind of tanks to be lined up. Vladimir Putin himself. But when you come here, you see it's just a field, but just across there is Russia. Wow. Let's go into that village, see if we can't meet someone. I don't see any people around. Just hear some dogs and chickens. What a desolate place. He's just like, mother you've been to Chernobyl. Like, you know what I mean? He loves, he loves going to some random villages. And he's like, what a desolate place. Yeah, no shit, dude. Yeah, you went there. 
It's not like they came to your backyard to talk shit. They didn't materialize in your neighborhood, and then you're like, oh, this is desolate. Yeah, it's just like, they're just chilling, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> what a shithole. What a desolate place. <laughs> Okay, Chatter's saying, like, this is just like Ohio. You're exaggerating. Like, they have... Okay, dirt roads is, like, a little bit more... Like, obviously, I've, I've been in places in America where there's, like, a load of dirt roads and shit, but, like, it's not this. Like, this looks like a Turkish village, okay? That's what it looks like. <laughs> you don't understand. When you say this is just like Ohio, Americans don't understand, okay? Americans don't understand. That, like, the infrastructure in places like this are not like America. They're not. They're not like America. Like, the electricity goes out all the time. You know, shit like that. I've talked about this before. Like, even growing up in Ankara, okay, which is a cosmopolitan city, the capital city of Turkey, um, I, you know, I, I grew up with uh, blackouts, like, routine blackouts. Until I came to America, uh, it was not a thing. Iowa is satellite internet in places like this, lol. I'm not sure you understand rural America. I mean, I've been to rural America, but like you're looking at the power lines <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is just like, it's a little bit less. Я не хотел мешать, просто я прибыл из Англии, корреспондент. Просто хотел знать, как жизнь на границу с Россией, если все спокойно или нет. Ну, все спокойно, я думаю. Все спокойно, да, 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 все отлично. А вы не боятся, что то, что что-то будет, ну, оккупация или что-то? Мы не думаем, может, мы не думаем. Нет, нет. А древние все нормально? Пока нормально, все, все, все нормально. Вы не боитесь, вы нас и аж украинский мужчина тогда. Спасибо. Мы граждане Украины, так что у нас пока все нормально. Native reservations, uh, I agree with. Yeah, I could see native reservations looking like this. What chatters don't realize is like the houses and whatever look like this, but that's not the problem. The problem is a lack of infrastructure, like lack of adequate infrastructure, which is why I believe it. If you said like, uh, uh the, the, um, like the native territories could look like this potentially because they don't get like enough support. The last guy could believe too. Guys, no time to bother about invasion of politics. These people live in, live for survival. And there's so many such people. It's insane. Another, yeah, by the way, in, Another Hassan Abi head. He's just watching me, probably. That's why he didn't think that there was an invasion. А если что-то будет, что вы будете делать? Переехать где-то или что вы, что ваш план или вы не думали даже? Не, не, я не думаю куда-то ехать. Нет. Зачем дом бросать? Не, я не думаю никуда. Понятно. Но вы патриот? Патриот. Хорошо. Очень приятно. Спасибо вам большое. До свидания. My God, we're lucky living. Well, if you live in a Western country... Try like finding a bus in Ohio that brings you to that village, though. True. Okay. That's facts. 100%. That actually is 1 million percent a, a one-up. No matter how far you go in Europe, most cities are still going to have adequate transportation, even to all the Kuy, even to all the villages in Turkey that look like that, look worse than that. You're always going to have some form of public transportation that goes there. In America... No shot. You don't even have it in New Jersey, bro. That's the crazy shit. Like, in most civilized nations, okay? And by civilized, I mean, like, America is the barbarian, uh, uncivil nation. Like, I'm talking, like, Syria, Iraq, pe like, places where there are, uh, ongoing, where there's ongoing conflict, bombings. All of these places have public transportation. They're doing the most with the least amount of money they have. They're doing the most with whatever they got, but they still got it going. Not in America, though. Holy shit, dude. Like I do. Just think about the people here on this village. In this village. They've got to contend with a lack of prospects, a lack of jobs, a lack of wages, a lack of health care, lack of future. And on top of that, just there, across that barbed wire. There are native reserves like this in Oklahoma, me. Also, the people in places like in these places are not in your chat yeah i was just kidding about that i know a threat actually that's not true there might possible be possible invasion you never know dude be grateful for what you've got you never know bro you never know you, you never know motherfuckers will probably take the public transit to the nearest internet cafe 
to play a little bit of CSGO and maybe watch their favorite Twitch streamers on the side. I'm sure out of the 79,000 people that are watching right now, there's at least, you know, there's at least 10 people that live in a, in a place that kind of looks like that. That would not be shocking to me at all. I think you guys underestimate how the internet works. Not in the internet cafe, but like you underestimate like these, they, they still have internet. I got, bro, I literally have people living in like Syria. I have people watching from Syria. I have people watching from Palestine. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and then you're like, oh, no one, no one in a situation like that's watching. What do you mean, dude? <laughs> there definitely are people. The night of the, the first night of the, the CSGO bit sounds like fanfic though. Yeah, I made that up. I just love saying, uh, I love saying that uh, Ukrainians and Russians play CSGO and buy knives. It's just, I'm being, I'm being Slavophobic. Bald update. Which is probably not too good, but um, yeah. So far, so far, I mean, everything's pretty peaceful in the center. People are walking around. There's a lot of press, of course, but um, people going about their day, just going for a stroll down the Krishatik. Like in the north of the city, in a place called Obolom, there are Russian tanks have been spotted and there's fighting. I've not seen it, I'm not in Obolom, I'm in the very center. Um, I've not heard anything, but hey, who knows? Occasionally you come <laughs> here like a plane. He goes, like he's at it again. <laughs> I thought, wasn't his, uh, wasn't his like literal IG stories also like literally just like making fun of American media saying like, oh, it's, oh, they're saying there's an invasion. And then like throughout the week, it just starts becoming more and more obvious. Like literally once the invasion happens, he's like, okay, well, there's an invasion. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> over, to over the top, it's cloudy, so I don't see them. But um, apart from that, it's a, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just an incredibly, well, it's a sad day, really. I've been on this place, this point, this, the Maidan, literally fuck, 500 times in my life and always with good memories, always had good times here. Um, I stayed in that hotel up there. It's called the Hotel Ukraina. I stayed in that hotel in 1993, like on my very first trip to um, Ukraine. And so it's really sad that, um, well, 30. It is wild that he's just like, yeah, uh, I, I guess there's, I guess there's tanks in the other side of the city. It's like, what are you doing? Like, well, okay, well, should you be in the other side of the city? If that's what's going on? Like, maybe you should not be in that city. Have you thought about leaving? He's like, all right, um, uh, bold here. Uh, we got, uh, uh, an AR platform right here. It's, uh, I got ACOG sites on it. Uh, these wonderful people, uh, that are also from, uh, the UK found me. And they gave me this, uh, wonderful gift. It's fully automatic. You can't find these in in uh, Europe, of course, and, uh, you know, we've been, uh, we've been engaging in active conflict with the, uh, Kadyrov Brigade, uh, that's, uh, coming in. <laughs> and, uh, yes, uh, so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> 30 years later, that Ukraine, um, yeah, is going through this situation. So, yeah, just really sad that Europe is fighting once again. <laughs> the way he's covering it is so funny in comparison to like Clarissa Ward with fucking gear on, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, it's so sad that Europe is warring again. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That Europe is fighting once again and that Slav is fucking fighting against Slav when really... You know, Slavic nations and Europe in whole should be united. So um, I don't know. I've got nothing else to say. I've got no. I, I've got no opinions on this. I'm not a geopolitical expert. Everything I've predicted so far has been wrong. I never thought there'd be an invasion. I was like, nah, Putin's not that insane. That's not going to happen. But yeah, I know nothing. So I'm not going to say what I think's going to happen or anything like that because I've got no idea. Like um, it seems all rationality in this situation has gone out the window, and so. Yeah, all I can do is show you what the situation is and um, you can make your own mind up. But at the moment, at least, at the moment, at least, here in the center of Kiev, on the Maidan, everything is um, quiet and peaceful. If something happens later and I hear it or I see it, of course, I'll um, do an update and I'll show you guys. Um, if the tanks come rolling in, I'll be the first one there to try and show you as long as it's safe and as long as I'm not getting in the way of people who are actually fighting for their country or their city. Uh <laughs> Dude, that's insane!
<laughs> He's a madman, dude. An absolute madman. Oh, I won't get in the way of the brigades. Uh, you know, I won't get in the way of, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> people fighting against the invading Russian forces. You know, I'll just be filming. I mean, this is like, honestly, I'm not even, I, he, he's like the, the, I won't make this joke. Never mind. People are going to get mad at me because there's a lot of people that fucking don't like him for, uh, for, for the, the creepy things that he's written in the past. I don't know if he's ever addressed them or anything like that, but no, I was going to say he's like Anthony Bourdain, but like for doing sex pat shit, but he's just, but instead of food, it's like what unites us is, <laughs> no, I love, I love Bourdain. Uh, the, the point is that despite his, um, you know, despite his like, uh, interesting attitude overall, you can tell that like, uh, he has like a very, uh, he has a very interesting perspective. Um, he has a, he has a very interesting perspective on like places that he, he goes to, you know what I mean? Like the beautiful thing about Anthony Bourdain is that he she shows like a genuine appreciation. He always showed a genuine appreciation for the culture that he was um, the cultures that he was documenting and the cultures that he was a part of and like truly understanding like in a way that most um, in a way that most people that uh, have like a colonizer attitude uh, wouldn't. But yeah, it's also because Michael doesn't like him. I'm gonna be honest and is he's a good judge of character that's a that's that definitely uh, leads my that definitely shapes my perspective a little bit not bourdain but uh but uh baldy um but he does make yeah, good videos that's it. though i've got nothing else to say really just again once again a terribly sad day you know for ukraine and for europe as a whole and um yeah what a nightmare right eh? what a bloody nightmare but let's see what happens hopefully some resolution comes of it and then there's not there's not too much bloodshed i mean god knows how much there's already been i don't know but anyway yeah, goodbye from um, Ukraine, and see you Michael guys who? maybe later on today, Ben-Hud. or um, yeah, somewhere down the road. See you later. I, I guess there's, I guess there's tanks in the other side of the city. It's like, what are you doing? Like, well, okay, well, should you be in the other side of the city? If that's what's going on, like, maybe you should not be in that city. Have you thought about leaving? He's like, all right, um, bald here. Uh, we got, uh, uh, an AR platform right here, it's, uh, I got ACOG sites on it, uh, these wonderful people, uh, that are also from, uh, the UK, found me, and they gave me this, uh, wonderful gift, it's fully automatic, you can't find these in, in, uh, Europe, of course, and, uh, you know, we've been, uh, we've been engaging in active conflict with the, uh, Kadyrov Brigade, uh, that's, uh, coming in, <laughs> and, uh, yes, uh, so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>